Okay, NMUN video contest. A new student should be able to watch your video and understand what National MUN is and why they might want to participate themselves. So what is National MUN uh, Model United Nations? It's a simulation of the United Nations where different committees that come from multiple universities from around the world, uh, they get to represent a country in each of these committees. So, for example, Fair Lady Hinson University represented Samoa. Then you need to learn about their, their government, their income, their like all, all the important information about a country and how you will be able to represent it. And then you go and meet with other people and try to share ideas. It's not just knowing about your, your own country that you're representing, it's about knowing many other countries so that you can keep diplomacy as well as actually have a resolution for the challenge that you got. And the biggest challenge that you have to face at the MU and probably is, is showing your leadership in usually big groups, like probably 10, 15, 20 people and ask them to or help you to do to get a better resolution for all the countries so your resolution is going to get passed. The process of strategizing for the NMUN conference takes place many months back where we choose our own team and we participated in a lot of local simulations in Vancouver as well as familiarizing ourselves with the procedures of the NMUN to be able to go in there with everything we've got. I don't know. It feels like that doesn't really explain what National MUN is. Simulating resolutions, changing in the world? That's big talk for a small delegation. I mean, even a city where the conference takes place, the Big Apple, dwarfs us like every other soul who's trying to make it here. Before the conference starts, we met with Mr. Faturi, Samoa's permanent mission to the UN, to learn more about the role of small island country Samoa and what they do in the United Nations. Where are you from? Oh, you're from Samoa. Samoa. Yeah, he would know best the limitation of Samoa. Sometimes you have to think of narratives to try and make it interesting. I always say that sometimes it's good. No, small can also be beautiful. Wait, that's it. That's what our definition was missing. Be small, be beautiful, Mr. Faturi said. Despite its shortcomings, Samoa still makes conceded effort to be involved in the process and use its own perspective to offer unique solutions regarding the environment, technology, and commerce. Be small, be beautiful. <laughs> With Mr. Faturi's optimism and these words in mind, the week whizzes by. Five days of debate and dozens of feasible resolutions later, we are finally here at the UN headquarters where real leaders come to discuss global solutions. Just after Mr. Stephen Mathias mentions as a leading small nation invoicing their ideas for 193 other states, our university was recognized with the Distinguished Delegates Award for representing Samoa in this conference. So watch National MUN, it's definitely not something abstract. In fact, NMUN looks like this. It sounds a lot like this. <laughs> NMUN tastes like this. This is what NMUN feels like. It was a very, a very overwhelming experience, but in a good way. But at the end of the day, National MUN is a chance for even the smallest to stand in the same playing fields as the big leagues and understand and sympathize with each other. With the right mindset, anybody can have the power to change the world. Because more, believe it or not, can also be beautiful. By now, if you're still not sure what National MUN is, let's talk some more.